this weekend, Ash and I decided to go home, and we thought since we were there, we should go try to find a new curling wand because the one we have now is a little bit thinner, and we wanted to find a little bit of a thicker wand. So we ended up at Ulta, and we went in search of this, mm -hmm. but we and ended up leaving with all of this. Mm -hmm. So we yeah. thought since, you know, in light of all this new stuff, we'd go ahead and try our first haul video. So I'll start with this. We went in. We wanted a thicker wand. As you can see, it's a little bit thicker. And it's leopard print, which is Ashley's favorite. My all-time favorite. It's just in my bedroom. Uh, and it was also leopard. on sale. So uh, it works really well. It's a hot tools. So if, you know, you can't really find one that you know sticks and actually you know curls your hair hot tools is pretty good it is pretty good mm -hmm. so i liked it very good and then and so since we got that basically the lady who helped us pick it out she also told us that it would be good to try a setter as well and so we ended up deciding to try this redkin one of the great things about it which is actually why we decided to give it a try is that it's also like heat protective i think they work pretty well we've used it a couple times um if you don't have one it's okay because, I, you know, it pretty much looks the same as whether I had one or not. Like, she used it and I didn't. And as you can see, they're both curled. So. They're, I mean, they're the same. So, it's kind of like, yeah. it's either you want to try it and see, like, you know, sometimes maybe if you believe it works, it works better. While we were, I guess, walking around the store, we saw this box of uh, Smashbox Primer. You know, it's your prime. Mm -hmm. And we thought, we were always wondering, like, you know, primer, you see it everywhere. Magazines, TV, yeah. All that kind of stuff. And we've always wanted to try it. And so we thought, you know, it was a good deal, $16, which actually is usually the price of just the one. If you can see this big one, it's usually what the price of that one is. So we thought we'd give it a try. This one is the face primer. It's a photo finish. It's a foundation primer. So you, it's clear. And you put a little bit on, you know, the high points of your face, rub it in. You let it kind of dry exactly. and sit for a second. And then you put on your foundation. It kind of sets up your skin. That's one of the things they told us, you know, if you want like the flawless photo finish kind of look, primers are definitely a good way to go. Exactly. And remember, a little goes a long way with this kind of thing. So as you can see, it's small, so you want to make it last as long as it can. It also came with some eye product primers. These ones were our favorite. We they love were. eye products. They were, exactly. So the first one that we really liked is the, this one, it's an under eye primer. So really, you just, you know, you put them right under here, let it dry, and it, what it's really good about is it basically, if you have dark circles, like we do, Some, yeah. you know, you <laughs> want that makeup to stay the whole day and actually keep it covered, and the primer's job is to, like, basically keep it there, and so that's what we liked about it. Mm -hmm. and, and then we also got, it's the uh, Photo Finish Lid Primer, and it's a little bottle, and you, it looks kind of like the... Um, lip glosses and stuff. You just put it on your eyelid, rub it in, let it dry for a second, and it pretty much sets up to hold your eyeshadow. And I, I personally, we think it really works because yeah, go being a being a college student, we got a lot of classes, and throughout the day, I come home and I realize that like all my makeup's pretty much like off. I don't see anything, but with this primer yeah. and stuff, it seems to be lasting almost all day. So I definitely recommend the primers if you don't have any. So the next thing we wanted to try is you know we see a lot of commercials and like magazine ads, and we thought. Since we're at Ulta, you know, why not give it a whirl? So we tried this BB cream, and we decided to go with Maybelline as our first try. Yeah, it's really cool. It's an eight-in-one beauty balm skin perfecter. It's basically a combination of skincare and makeup. And there's no oils or anything in here, so no heavy ingredients. It's very light on your face. It is. It's very light. I mean, you kind of feel like you're not even wearing any. Yeah, my favorite part is that it evens out your whole face. When we were there, we also saw in the Maybelline section that they were having a buy one, get one 50% off sale mm -hmm. for their eyeshadows. So we thought... For pretty much any Maybelline product. Basically, any Maybelline product, but we decided eyeshadows because mm -hmm. you can never have too many different colored eyeshadows. Well, you could, but there's not a crime against it. And so the first one that we picked out was uh, this Maybelline one. It's called Dusk. And it's basically, it's nice that it has that light kind of pinkish color that you put on your lid and then a kind of like a darker grayish color mm -hmm. that we like to put on our crease, yeah. but you could do it any way you want, you know, so mm -hmm. that was just the simple one. And then for the 50% off, we decided to go for a four colored eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. And this one was called Lavender Lights. What I like about this one is it kind of tells you. Like where to, what are like, uh, they have the base, the lid, the crease, the liner. So they kind of tell you like which color is supposed to go where if you're not too sure. But this is the last thing we got. And this one we actually got uh, at a drugstore. We went to CVS for this one. But while we were at Ulta, we were looking for highlighters. Um, we've heard about them, never really used them before. But we kind of like the idea of like hitting the high points of your face. Mm -hmm. And so they were showing us these really small ones for 
kind of a lot of money, so we were like, I don't really spend, feel like spending that much money on something. And so uh, some small. of them were like, what, 30 One of the higher ones they showed us was like $40. Yeah, they were expensive, and, and they were like small. So we ended up, uh, we got, it's from Wet n Wild. It's actually a bronzer, and as you can see, it's pretty light because mm -hmm. we are not the tannest. No, we are very we're pale. Embracing, <laughs> we're embracing our paste, if you've ever seen Rob Dyrdek. <laughs> So, Fantasy Factory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Anyway, um, so basically it's a, a bronzer, but when we started using it, we thought, you know, this actually kind of looks the same as the highlighters, and so we've just been using it. We put it kind yeah, of on the high points of your face, a little bit underneath your eye. Um, we like to put it underneath your eyebrow. Yeah. Kind of give that. Um, some people, she was telling us, do like the whole T-line. They do a little bit on their nose, maybe on their chin. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much all that we got this that, time. Yeah, that ends our Ulta haul. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that we... Gave you some good advice that you may try and use some of this. If you use it, let us know your feedback. If you know any other brands that are maybe a little bit cheaper than Ulta brands, please put in the comment box. We'd yeah. love to hear them and read up. Well, we'd love to read them. Yeah, and everything. And learn new stuff. So, mm -hmm. but thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.